We are leaving Yangshua, headed west, west, northwest, northwest, to Guilin. Plans have changed yet again. Always plans are changing. This time, the plan is that tomorrow, Annie and Eva are going to be meeting us in Guilin. It shall be a nice time. They were planning to meet me when I went there to Ningbo and visited them for a few days. But uh, it'll kind of work out different because the weather in Ningbo is crappy and the weather in Guilin is good. As opposed to a week from now when the weather in Guilin is going to be bad and the weather in Ningbo is going to be good. So we're trying to get the best of both worlds. Eva and Annie are going to hang here for a few days. Then I'm going to go with them back to Ningbo for a few days. Then. I'll be returning to Guilin, heading south to Nanning. Once I get to Nanning, I'll head back to Ningbo, spend Christmas and New Year's with, with them, and then uh, once, once that's finished, I'll head back, and we will be uh, full bore on tour mode. The uh, earthly acne is growing in number as we reach Guilin, which is going to be a short ride of uh, 70 kilometers. Earthly acne, of course, is the mountainous territory I'm in. It's just bumpy. feel like I could just pop these peaks and see him squirt something out the top. Hopefully. That's so gratifying. It's so frustrating when you try to pop them and nothing comes out. And then they get bigger. It's like, why did I just do that to myself? Anyways. A little washing station over there. People washing their clothes. It is uh, 10 o'clock. I'm off a little bit late, but I got no real uh, worry about time because I know I'll hit 70 kilometers in the afternoon and all will be right with the world. So the road seems nice and straight and long. I'll have a couple of bumps along the way. Hello. But uh, nothing to balk at, nothing I haven't done before. And uh, yeah, that's it. I say and uh a lot, eh? That's my, that's my pause word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not say and uh, other than facetiously, like and uh, like literally and intentionally. for a little uh, lunch here uh, on the side of the road. This is like an industrial area, but it's very close to being an amazing place. That that building, that like pagoda looking thing that I rode past and flew over, that's part of a huge development here. Like a, like a city growing up out of nowhere because right now it's, it's just sort of like a place on the way from A to B, but it looks like it's gonna be quite spectacular in probably about five years. Anyways, I'm stopping and having this pork dish. He said it was for one person, but <laughs> one, one big person. Uh, but it looks pretty good. It's sort of like hot pot, but I don't think it's like hot pot. I think it should be shared though. Shared with me and my stomach. <laughs> and they have this beer here. It's pretty good. Oh man, this is good. It's like a gravy sauce. Mm. Vegetables, garlic, everything. Fantastic. And the vegetables aren't cooked like 100% yet. So they're still a little crispy, crunchy. I like that. I hate when they're all too mushy. I asked this guy when I came in, I said, is this enough just for one person? I don't want to overload. Yeah, one person, no problem. 
It's like a bucket of pork stew. Like a bucket. I did my best, but I can't overload. If I overload, man, it makes the next hour of riding really lethargic. That meal could have been a solid 50% less in price and in quantity. It was about 57 RMB, which is almost 10, 10 bucks with the beer included, but still, that's a lot for China. I could have gotten a meal. I could have gotten a meal for half that and been just as satisfied. It was good though. It was good. Don't get me wrong. Good morning. Hello. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, the title, title. Tai Jongla, Tai Jongla. Hi. Kai, Kai. Bye bye. Always good to have a couple of oranges. Maybe not an entire bag of oranges, but a couple of oranges is always a good thing. And especially if it's a gift given by, by friendly people. Bye bye. All right, folks, we're in Guilin now. Pretty sure. If not, like, just a kilometer away. Hello. Lots of smiling faces, good people. Decent ride. But I'll tell you what, hello. My knees are bending higher than normal. And the reason they are is that today I decided to wear shoes, not my sandals. My sandals have almost no sole on them so by wearing these shoes it adds like just a little bit of thickness but man it makes a big difference i was thinking about extending my boom out but to be honest after today's ride i'm i'm gonna start i'm gonna be wearing my sandals anyway so no big deal but it is weird like it creates a big difference hello yeah really crazy because Annie is going to be coming here soon, she uh, booked a really fancy hotel for me, Eva, and her. So we're going to be staying hoity-toity for a few days. Hello. That lunch is running through me a lot faster than it should. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to the hotel. Let's just keep it at that. I never knew. Hello. Where are you going? Beijing. Beijing. Ha ha ha. Hi. Where are you headed? Where are you coming from? Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, guys, when Annie's part of the trip, I, I end up traveling in style, so. We're staying at the five star, as I was just talking about how five star hotels aren't the biggest thing in the world. We're staying at one, the Shangri-La Guilin. I think that's the best case scenario for little Eva. Uh, less dirty, very clean, good services. 
So I'll be taking you here for the next few days. Jaiyo. Next time on the Jayo Vlog. Hey, Stinker Dinker Do! Daddy Eva Ichi. Daddy Eva Mommy Ichi. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, feet first. Ah! You want to go on a choo choo train, honey?